We leave our off-grid vessel and set out with a new dinghy to explore an island five miles away to film an episode. What happens in the next 27 hours is perfect for the term. Oh no, oh no. I'm afraid to think what our next mission is. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. So maybe let's pull it first and then try to do something. Well, we got the green plug out now, but we got to try and get it up there a little bit on the beach. guys this is not good i'm gonna go and try to find something on this island i can bail the water with i think there's some kind of like a villas here or something i don't know that maybe we can ask for something i don't know hey guys are you working here by chance you're not what do you need? no yeah. oh this is full of water we need a kettle to bail it out talk to the lady yeah i will thank you so much okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this is full of water. Can I ask you like for a kettle to bail it out? Well, really anything works. <laughs> Thank you so much. You don't need it back, do you? No. Thank you. All right, guys, we got something. <laughs> Fast. When something like this happens, obviously William doesn't want to record anything. So I'll try to do my best. <laughs> Start bailing. Alright, start bailing. the water with the dinghy and see if it's gonna work the waves are hitting us we just keep bailing it out it's not helping do you think the motor gonna start i think it's gonna start i don't know how long it's gonna run but we've got water in the gas that'll be our next problem william read somewhere that if you take the plug out and you ride your dinghy very fast the water gonna start coming out so he's trying to do that right now i just hope he doesn't sink I mean, if he's gonna sink, he's gonna sink by the shore. He's afloat. That's a good thing. I can't believe this. So he's riding and he's bailing at the same time. I think it worked. He said, collect everything and get ready. And our beautiful day. Oh, oh shit. Oh. What happened? Got to the water in the tank. It only gets better. A great live update for you. We went to explore an island and came back. The dinghy was sunk on land. Full of water. We had to bail it. Finally, we were able to get it back in the water. The motor cut out on us. We had to bring it back on the same island, and now we don't know what to do. Uh, we're about five miles from our boat. It's two hours before dark. Thing is the water washes the sand away, drops the back of the dinghy down, which puts it lower, and it starts to fill with water. So with each wave, the dinghy goes lower, and then pretty soon they start filling up the dinghy. How many pounds is it? 420, I don't know. Extra light dinghy, aluminum. 
We're also trying to figure out if the tide is going out. It kind of seems like the tide's coming in naturally. There is no cell signal here. Fantastic day. We're gonna have to pull this beast further up soon so we don't recreate this whole adventure. Somewhere we gotta get this dinghy up there. Ah, uh, it's not really possible. One, two, two three. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna have to use a different strategy because this is not gonna work. Little lawn chairs and stuff, no people. Where do you think all the people are? I got the bailing thing from the lady. I just went to the restaurant again and there is nobody there. I have a feeling they all are on their siesta break. No kidding, this dinghy is so freaking heavy. It's not possible to get it up with two people when where one is a woman. It's not heavy. It's half the weight of normal dinghies. Pulling the rope? We're pulling on the rope which makes a two to one ratio. So when we pull here, this is gonna pull the dinghy, so the dinghy's gonna be half as heavy. One, two, three, two, three. One, two, three. Boat life is amazing. So we came up a lot higher. You know why else it's so heavy? Cool seat is full of water. A waterproof bag. Consider it not very waterproof. Everybody yeah. should have a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> like why? Why a roll of toilet paper? And a towel. Radio help. We have a radio and a toilet paper. What else do you need what in else? life? <laughs> you call for help. I'm going to go use this as prescribed. Bye. So I once read on a blog that you could use an air pump to suck out water. Well, I think we're about to try it. But I think that thing should have a drain hole in it. So what is it? I don't know, I have to keep trying to get water out of it. Pretty soon we're gonna have a dead battery. You think it's working? At least I've got it idling. I'll try going back in the water because I can't run it on the dry and I'll ruin the engine. <sighs> and the motor is not working. Gas tanks have a breather vent so that when you're pulling gas, it lets the gas flow and no vacuum. Breather vent was open and the gas tank was submerged. I'm pretty sure we got water inside the tank. The first thing I have to do is figure out how to get the water out and get back to good gas. Do you think maybe if we go to the marina and ask and the, one of the yachts? Yeah, yeah. Um, One, two, three. A guy named Mark helped us to pull the boat back on shore because the motor is just not working. And he said that there is a marina here where a couple of uh, mega yachts apparently are. Go there and try to ask for clean fuel because we think that's what the problem is. Hi ho, hi ho. <laughs> it's off to gas we go. Actually, I think we got lucky. Maybe there is some gas here because it looks pretty developed. Definitely gas on this island and we're going to find it. Gas beggars. Uh, is everybody on monitoring 1-6? Anyone monitoring 1-6? And the answer to them was <laughs> silence. There is nobody in the marina. They don't respond to the radio and the office closed and there are only two boats there and none of them had gas. No, really, I'm fine. I can sit no, in the boxes. My guys are in the company. Thank you. Okay. So you want to go in the front? All right, I'm going to go in the front. She's pretty. She can go in the front. <laughs> yeah, we beached the dinghy. Finish work for this. Oh, yeah. Ciao. What's your name? Danilo. Danilo might be able to help us with gas. Yes, sir. I'm a god uh, in this moment. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Sir. And you are! <laughs> the the gas one in the, in, the, in the marina for is not also for open and close. Right. I right. have I have uh, the gas one through this for me is uh, oh, great. Thank you so much. No. Gasolina with water combination. Uh, okay. Ciao, ciao. It's ciao bello, yeah? Ciao bello. I, lo I love bello. You know you. Ciao bello, not bella. Bello. I'm not bello. <laughs> bello, see. Okay. Ciao. We can do this together.
there's no way we're gonna get that dinghy back tonight. Can't make it running. No, and if I did, it's gonna be dark. We can't go on the ocean. We're gonna have to find something else. Well, something else what? It's not like we can sleep somewhere. Are we doing bare stone? <laughs> <laughs> Probably can sleep in the dinghy, but it's all freaking wet. I think I'd rather sleep on the stone. I've got an idea. You've always wanted to camp, so we're gonna camp. Camp. I've got an idea. He's right? got an idea. Let's first look for a place that's safe. It's safe. Stones all over. Ah, oh, you know what? Someone forgets there's a four foot tide and we might be like safe under the water. This is high enough ground and it's a nice flat shelf. Come look. Look what? <laughs> look at your bed. We only have one towel. So what I'm gonna be sleeping here on the rocks like this. Is that your idea? Hold this that. is fantastic, William. <laughs> I could have that idea too. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. There are also ants here. I think you're making it more dirty. I will return. It's like in scary movies, that's when the bad part starts. When the characters split. I have my knife. Exactly, and you have a knife. Wait, I have a knife. I'm giving you. No, I have a knife. <laughs> Fine, you can go. I don't think that the gravity of our situation has quite hit home yet. I've been camping in the African woods for a long time. I want to see what the resort camper is going to be doing. This is your bed, baby. My bed? Yeah. I thought you did a bouquet. Wrong. I'll show you how to weave together a palm bed. A palm bed. A palm bed. Well, later on when you're freezing your ass off, you're going to be pretty happy that you've got this over the top of you. Oh my God. Let's go. What an adventure. <laughs> I guess right in here is where we're going to lay. It's going to cushion the rocks. Can you go over there? You're standing in the middle of our bed. The heat from the rocks are going to keep us warm all night, so we only have to do a little layer. Can I help you somehow? Oh, oh it's already done. With your length, I have to probably get more palms. That's my husband. I thought it's bed for two. I'm testing it. I know how to test better. I So you got a pillow. Ah, oh, there's a stone there. What kind of pillow is that? <laughs> I go on my chest, not on the stone. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't see anything. Uh, nice. This is boat life. Only us. Well, thank you for making the bed. I guarantee you, you're going to be warm here and you have a soft bed. <laughs> and I hope there were no bugs on these leaves. Palm leaves are pretty important because bugs don't eat them. They don't live in them. I don't know why, but they're bug free as long as they're fresh and they're on top. How did you even know about this? Uh, I just sleep a couple nights in Africa. They don't bring you pillows and blankets. How bad of them. Trying to fix this motor in a rush and try and cross the ocean at night to our boat, which is like, what, four miles? Yep. Is not smart. No, because if we got caught in the current and the motor died, we would be washed out further into the Atlantic. So we and the mosquitoes, <laughs> I'm imagining iguanas coming out to get <laughs> our toes. Yep, so we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, Don Hunters. Uh, we are going to the dinghy now to make it run. How positive you are now about the dinghy running? Oh, it's gonna start right up now. Well, 
we couldn't start the motor. Tried everything, fuel filter, fuel pumps, probably injector got water in it. We tried for like two hours. Our only solution here is to try and find somebody to tow us. Hitchhiking on the water. Quick update for you guys. <laughs> we got to the marina, but there are no boats in the marina. All those boats that you see, there are no people on them. We went to marina office. They don't know who can help us. So we had a little breakfast. Now we're going back. We're gonna sit on the beach and beg for a ride. That's the plan. Oh, what a wonderful day. Cheers. <laughs> This is very fortunate. Yeah. Now it's time to get scared. They can turn their motors on. At this very moment, we are being towed by Exuma's warden. warden. We are officially saved. You happy? Well, I'll be happy when I see the boat still floating. Exactly. Oh, this is the way to drive. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank Bye. you, guys. Dingy dead. All cameras dead. At Phone's all dead. Phone's dead. At least we two are alive and the boat is fine. What more can you ask for? So what have you learned from this trip? Don't go five miles away from your boat with a dinghy. That's one thing. Another thing I've learned, don't trust equipment. Only trust your wife. My lesson is definitely that I have to pack better. I always pack for fair weather and for nothing bad happening. We didn't have warm clothes. We didn't have extra chargers, uh, no mosquito spray. I had the sun protection, as you can see, which I forgot about that I have it. What else would we pack? Uh, always carry a knife. That's good and dispensable. And carry cash, because without cash, you don't get anything. This adventure could have been a disaster, but thanks God, we are both safe on the boat. This is fixable. All materials things are not important. They are, but <laughs> we have each other. What else do we need? <laughs> I love you. Love you too. Listen. Listen. Trooper, absolute trooper. Last night, mosquitoes were swarming her because they love her and I didn't get a bite. Get yourself a good partner on the boat. <laughs> Type O blood.